Oh my god, Shanice discovered a fire. Oh, for Christ's sake, Shanice! Of course you Oh, for Christ's sake! I can't deal with you dying right now, Shanice, for Christ's sake! Shant out, let's do a little competition. We did barrel racing and we've already got gold in it. We could try Western Pleasure as that requires a high temperament skill and we've got temperament level 8, which is insane. So we should get a gold in that. I'm saying we should, I hope we do. So as we wait for it to finish, so there we go, we've got the gold prize, lovely. Although again, I think we can't, as soon as you've done one, you can't do another with the same horse in the same day. So it is only one a day. When we get to master level, first place prize is 3,000 simoleons. And for the ultimate horse championship, it's also 6,000, but we need a horse riding skill level 10. As you can see in the aspiration, we are working through it. It's like one lifetime aspiration. It's not a tutorially one. So that's something that I'm actually pleasantly happy about. So for Christ's sake, I hate the rain. Right. Our little cow, Fanny Fart, love you, Miss Fanny fart. I'm going to clean you. Clean my fanny fart. Feet my fanny fart. Hug my fanny fart. <laughs> Can we milk you? Oh, now we're milking a fanny fart of all things we could be doing. We're going to sell some of the nectar we made. I know you should wait for a lot of it to age, but we temporarily need a bit more money coming in. So it's like we're waiting for some of it to age, but others we're selling straight away. Oh, we're getting a call from an unknown caller. We're fixing your phone line. Don't pick it up next time someone calls. Is that supposed to be? Haha, <laughs> you just got pranked. That was literally the worst prank call I've ever heard in my life. How shockingly terrible. Even I didn't bloody laugh. Right, Bellend the chicken is dirty and unhappy. Our ranch hand isn't doing a very good job with a chicken coop. You're literally not doing anything. I thought the whole point was to help out. <laughs> Apparently there isn't cross pack play with that. Of course there isn't. So we're going to have to do all of that ourselves. If I just scatter like loads of chicken feed, will they shut up for like at least a few days? Right, and this guy, okay, Don Gooseman, he's so annoying. We're going to release his spirit to the netherworld so he literally doesn't come come back because his ghost is haunting the farm and it is so annoying and I don't want him here anymore. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. It was very harsh, but it needed to be done. He needed to be let go. Girls, let's get some sleep, please, in our little barn. Don't worry. Soon you will have your very own real house so you won't have to sleep with the horse. Not that the horse ever sleeps in the bloody barn. There's no point even having it. Or the horse is glitching around now. Lovely. Although the ranch hand is just standing. See, this is another issue with the ranch hand, guys. They just stand there idly doing absolutely nothing. Like she needs to go home. It's one o'clock in the morning. This pack is honestly getting more and more broken day by day. Can we like just send you home? We can't send you home, can we? So you're just gonna have to stick on the lot. How bloody annoying. Oh, today is harvest fest day. Lovely. I would just ignore it, but I can't deal with yet another negative mootlet saying that the day was awful and ruined. Like I can't deal with that. So we got to put up decorations on our little roof. <laughs> Does the barn look any better? Okay, the barn looks a lot better with harvest fest. That actually looks quite sweet. Power conservation date is now in effect. All power will be turned off for the next 12 hours. Hopefully you planned ahead. Oh, for Christ's sake. I fucking hate eco lifestyle. Um, why did, why, why on earth did this just like randomly turn up in the lots? Why did, why did that just teleport in the lot? Is it because it's got a gnome attached to it? Oh, for Christ. Should we sing with it? Right. Shani, shani, chant out, chant out. Let's sing with this little gnome wagon that just magically teleport. Oh no, she's singing outside. She's not singing to it inside. So it's glitching a little bit. We need to, okay, we just need to sing, okay, together in order to appease the gnomes. Come on. Otherwise they're going to wreck havoc and they're going to set fires and shit and I can't deal with that today of all days. Give them different things to make them happy. This guy looks like he wants to set a fire. Plead for forgiveness. Shant out. Don't know what you did wrong. Plead for forgiveness again please sir. There we go. They've got halos around their head now. They don't hate us anymore. Though they've teleported and disappeared. Don't know where they've gone to because it's a lot so bloody huge. The ranch hand I don't believe has turned up for work today so we've got to do everything on our little farm ourselves or our ranch. Oh, there they are. They're in the garden. There we go. We've given him a nice little future cube. He's really happy. This little grim reaper gnome. We'll give you some coffee, shall we? Would you like... Oh no, he doesn't like that. Plead for forgiveness. Oh no, she just got electrocuted. Lovely. Oh no, we got electrocuted again. <laughs> okay, now we're having a sad time. Well, I am trying. <laughs> oh no, we're getting electrocuted again. Lovely. At least we've completed the season events now, so the Sims aren't going to complain that they're having a bad time. Christ sake. Shant out. Just go take a shower. Your hygiene's low because you've been electrocuted 20 times. Oh no, plumbing doesn't work off the grid. I mean, we do have the Jew collector. Is it not working? Or is it because it's a stupid eco lifestyle holiday event? Can we change the neighborhood action plans yet? No, we can't. 
Although what we can do is upgrade our Jew Collector because Shanice has been doing, she's been fixing a lot of broken things lately. So she's got loads of plumbing parts. Power Conservation Day has now ended. Oh, thank f for that. <laughs> oh, look at the little lights and our little fences. Isn't that really cute? Oh my God, look at all these plants that we've just been given. Chantal, Chantal, you're going to have to expand our garden. We have got a lot of work to do. Also, one thing that you guys have told me as well is that we actually need to start making a greenhouse at some point because obviously it's coming up to winter in the game. So we can't do gardening in winter. Right, Chantal, are you able to shower yet? It doesn't work off the grid. We've literally got a dew collector. Why is it not working? I was so sure like if you're off the grid that you can shower if you have the dew collector or am I mistaken? If we get like a second one, will that help us reduce some more water? Is that how it works? We really don't have that much money so it was a very big risk buying it but we do need it because all of our needs are chronically low. All right girls, I think it's time we go to bed and we forget about everything that's happened today. All these bloody gnomes are still here as well. How annoying. Can't wait till they all leave. Shanice is uncomfortable because she's chronically dirty. Just go to bed, Shanice. Just go to bed, okay? We'll deal with your dirtiness in the morning. Oh, this off-grid household is now generating a water surplus. Thank God for that. Right, all these gnomes from Harvest Fest, all right, you can all piss off, okay? Goodbye. Even this little, wa right, this wagon gnome can stay because it's cute. Also, the Grim Reaper gnomes, I'm going to keep you because I want to use you for our graveyard that we're going to build eventually. So we'll pop you down by the graves. At least we've got something productive done. Although all of our needs are chronically low and I'm going to be so pissed off if one of our sims dies. So we got to deal with it all. Plumbing doesn't work off the grid. I thought we we're in a water surplus. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Shanice apparently can't take a shower. I'm so sorry. I was mistaken. Oh gosh, all these seed packets are all over the bloody floor now. All because of these stupid gnomes from Harvest Fest Day. And we don't have enough food to grill anything. So we're going to right, starve. Okay, we are have an emergency meal from our cooler. And then we're going to have to buy some food from the local shop, I believe. We're take the horse along with us because we're also going to do a competition. Look, oh my god, is it snowing outside? Oh, for Christ's sake, it's not snowing, is it? Right, I'm just going to get a little bit of food. The meat is, I think, the most important thing for cooking in the game. And also, whilst we're here, we may as well enter another competition. Though the game, the game won't let us. I don't know why it won't let us. Not enough simoleons to enter. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> right, time to go home then, it seems. Shanice, I really hope your nectar is aging finely. Right, moderately aged potato nectar that'll do we we'll sell you this app random apple nectar we we'll sell you as well we need the money all these apple nectars that are not aged we we'll sell those as well we'll also just craft a bit more if we've got nothing in our inventory there we go we'll make a bit of something all right let's get oh my god shanice's level is almost level five that is amazing shanice so soon we'll be a third of the way completing our aspiration which is lovely so there we go we've maxed out our nectar making skill that is perfect well done shanice shanice you're not a failure in life. And because it's raining, I believe we're in a water surplus now so we can actually shower. So we're not gonna be stinky all the bloody time. Oh my God, Fanny Fart has been unhappy for a while due to inadequate care. Oh, for fuck's sake, this ranch hand is so useless. It won't do anything. I'm so sorry, Fanny Fart, I forgot about you. Let's refill your feed and all that stuff. Come on, let's go. Although now there's a thunderstorm. Everybody's freaking out. Bloody seasons, ruining everything. Okay, I mean, now we have a bit of money. Maybe it's not too late now to go into the horse riding competition. I know it's pissing it down with rain, but it's indoors because it's a rabbit hole experience. That was a little bit catty and petty of me. Definitely was, I don't care. So let's get to it. Although our skill isn't really that high. So what I'm thinking we do is we do some horse training with Feisty. And should we train your endurance up? I think that'd be a good idea. Meanwhile, Chantal can look after her needs because I believe that this lot actually has power. Though the game is getting a little bit laggy and glitchy. Oh my God, who is this naked? Kid. No idea what's going on because the game is lagging so hard. It's probably because it's raining and the game can't handle everything that's being simulated right now. Right, our training is done. We need to go back to our home lot because the lag is literally killing me. It's severe. So now we've gone to bed. It's stopped raining. <laughs> so hopefully tomorrow we'll be a lot more productive because the game won't be freezing. Oh no, it started raining again. <laughs> back to another horrific day. So we've literally got so much food in our inventory. I'm just, I'm just going to sell a whole stack of loads of herbs and stuff because like we never use them. I'll sell the eggs as well. Oh my god, Shanice discovered a fire. Oh, for Christ's sake, Shanice! For Christ's sake, Shanice, of course you... Oh, for Christ's sake! I can't deal with you 
fucking dying right now, Shanice. I can't deal with you dying right now, Shanice, for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh my God, Shanice, you are so insufferable. You really have ruined my day, Shanice. You really have ruined my day. I mean, you've made entertaining content for the video, <laughs> but you've ruined my day. Oh no, it was it? Oh my God, it was Chantal Chantel who died. <laughs> Not Shanice, what am I talking about? Where's Shanice? Oh, Shanice is all right. She's standing over here. Shanice couldn't care less. Oh my God, it's Chantal who died. <laughs> well, congratulations, Chantal Chantel. Not only have you died once, you've... <laughs> You've died twice. Can't believe that happened. And to make it even worse, today's talk like a pirate day. Genuinely can't believe that happened. Genuinely can't believe. Oh my God. Now we've got to extinguish the fire. Should we call the fire department? See if they actually turn up. Oh my God. The fire department have actually turned up with paper bags on their head and they've actually done something. And they haven't T-posed for once. Oh, for Christ sake. Chantal, I am so done with you. Constantly dying. I really am done with you. I think it's just going to have to be Shanice Shanice from now on because Chantal Chantal can't handle life on a ranch it seems. She always bloody ruins a day by setting herself on fire. Right Shanice, I know your sister is dead but we really need to do some nectar making because like we need to make some money Shanice so if you could kindly just get straight on with making us some money that would be lovely. Oh also now we've got to do everything ourselves because the ranch handler hasn't turned up. Now we've got to harvest all of the plants. I'm just going to sell them all straight away. We've also got to feed our bloody chickens because I've forgotten about them. I've forgotten about Tester Claws, the goat, and he's unhappy. Tester Claws 1.0 is thinking of leaving. I know because we haven't been feeding you and we haven't been sorting your life out. And I'm trying to get Shanice to do it, but she's just action cancelling and not doing everything properly. I am trying. I'm going to sell all of our energy nectar. I know we were supposed to use it for exploring the cave but I think we've got better things to be dealing with right now. Right, the bloody goat is happy. The cow fanny fart is not happy at all. So we've got to deal with your shit now. And today is talk like a pirate day and we need to talk like a pirate and I don't know how to do it because we haven't got anybody to speak to apart from the cow. Gosh, and we've got to deal with the horse. I forgot about you. Sorry, feisty flange. He's funny. Honestly, it's constantly low because he won't do anything fun and it's very annoying, but we're trying to sort it out. We also need to harvest all the priory grass that we keep ignoring because we've been ignoring it for like an entire in-game week and we shouldn't really be doing that because we need to have it to feed our animals and we found an Almira clamp in the grass and we found a coconut we found a mushroom why are we finding all this weird stuff absolutely no idea anyway we're going to be selling it because we basically really really need the money right Shanice just stop yourself right there and get some sleep come on let's go we've had a long tough day your sister's died again although now she's in an animation glitch she's cancelled so we're gonna have to go to manage worlds and come back too much is going on we're gonna have to replace our grill what a nightmare i'm so sorry shanice you've had a bloody awful day so oh god to make it even worse winter's bloody started now we're gonna have to go through that long hard winter oh no it's raining so it's not really winter shanice is freaking out oh for christ's sake shanice right i mean our little ranch house that we were building like we can't we can't really have that anymore because we basically need to build a greenhouse because obviously in winter we can't grow plants outside we've got to grow Grow them all indoors so that is another thing to deal with i still haven't also taken down the harvest fest decorations we should probably get on with that soon we are making the biggest greenhouse on this planet so there we go lovely actually do you know what i'm gonna do also i'm gonna move our little nectar maker in here i think that would be a good idea just to slowly put everything in a coherent place we we'll just pop down some different planters. There we go. We we'll fill it up bit by bit as we go along. Though I am wondering, in build mode, can we move the plants themselves over here? We can. That's actually very useful. Also, it means we can sell some of the outdoorsy stuff and the fences here. We don't really need a fence if it's just a couple of trees we're growing. So now we actually have enough money to get more boxes. So this is actually a very good thing. Should we chuck our, should we chuck our little trash fruit plant in here as well? There we go. So what that means is because they're all constantly in season we can constantly make money from it so it's actually a very good thing so i'm very happy that we've done that shanice is taking it upon herself to shower in the rain at least we're raising up her hygiene need we take it where we can although she she can't access the plants here i'm thinking we probably should have spread them out a little bit more honestly the lag is killing me today hopefully if it's set up more like this maybe we can access everything properly now are you still gonna have rooting issues shanice nope she's finally able to do it okay that's a good thing at least 
least. We've got to feed our little cow, make sure our cow's happy, clean our cow. Got to, oh my God, this chicken is stinky and dirty and happy. We've got to clean the coop. Forgot about this chicken coop. Oops. For some reason, there's a plumbobus on the floor. So we'll sell that. Oh no, we can't, we can't sell it for some reason. The game won't let me. I'm sure when we restart and we play again in the next episode, we'll be able to do it. So that'll be fine. We've got to care for tester claws 1.0. I haven't actually taken our tester claws 2 out of our inventory. <laughs> we should probably do that. I forgot about you. I'm so sorry, tester claws 2.0. Oh, look, here is Chantal Chantal's ashes on the floor. So Shanice, I think we better promptly get rid of those. There we go. The horse has been stood there idly for literally days. I'm not sure what's going on. So now we've got to sort out your bloody needs. Oh, Shanice has just got naked in front of horse. Now she's better clothes back on. God knows what's happening here. Right, Shanice is starving and we've got no food. So we've got to buy some bloody food. We've also got to somehow raise Chantal Chantal back from the dead again because she's going to be doing the one doing the horse competitions. We genuinely need like tons of meat because that's the only thing that you can really grill on a barbecue. So that's all we need. So at least now we're not going to starve ourselves. That's always a bonus. Oh no, we can't cook any food. I thought we had more food than what we actually have. Apparently not. Looks like we're taking a plane over to the UK and we're going off to Henford on Bagley. I think this is the first time we've ever actually left the horse ranch world in this let's play. Oh, at least it's not raining here so it won't lag as badly. Although we are literally just here to buy some food from the grocery shop. Not that we have much money to buy any food, but we can get a little bit. So back we go to laggy, rainy hell in the horse ranch world. Right, can you grill something now? Are you going to find another reason to whinge? Nope, we can cook. We'll cook a bison stew. Lovely. And if you even dare set this grill on fire, I'm going to be fuming at you. Right, so this was a pretty shitty episode. <laughs> but at least, like, we got we built a greenhouse. Okay, that's at least something. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to the Horse Ranch playlist. I will see you in the next one.